everyone, Jess here. Today I am going to make a little video for you all about how we feed Oliver raw dog food. We've been getting a lot of questions about this and it's something I'm really passionate about so I'm going to tell you everything that's really important to know. Sarah is not with me today, she's actually behind the camera because she said um, she just doesn't want to sit next to me and nod while I spout out all the information I'm really passionate about. So <laughs> let's do it. Today we'll be talking about all things raw. We're going to be going over myths about raw feeding, how we chose Answers Detailed Raw, what he actually eats, how much it costs, and how to get started. So to start things off, let's talk about myths about raw dog food. One that I've heard a lot and gets speculated about a lot is that if we feed our dogs raw food, they can get salmonella or get sick. This is a myth. Dogs have a different pH level in their stomachs than we do, which means that they can process all of these bacteria without any harmful consequences. Another myth about raw feeding is that it will increase an animal's prey drive or aggression. This is absolutely false. What he eats has nothing to do with how he feels about other animals. He definitely doesn't realize that his food is coming from a rabbit or a duck. Um, he still has that prey drive of wanting to chase an animal just because it's moving around and he has that in him. But feeding raw does not make your dog more aggressive or more likely to go after small animals. Another myth about raw feeding is that you have to be an expert in the field to know how to feed your dog raw. You have to be a vet or somebody who studied um, animal nutrition and that's just not true. There are a lot of options for beginners and new pet parents that want to do right by their dogs but don't have all the information mostly being pre-made dog foods that you can find at your local grocery store. Pet store. <laughs> you can't mix kibble and raw. This is a total misconception. A lot of people, even in the raw feeding communities, don't always get this right. There's some speculation that because kibble takes longer to digest, raw food only takes about four hours, whereas kibble takes anywhere from eight to 12, that some bacteria can grow if you mix the two together. And there's just no evidence to back that up. And finally, that raw food is gross. And it, it kind of is, it's not a myth. That's, it's, it's often kind of gross, yeah. <laughs> Why we chose to feed raw. I've wanted a dog for a very long time, like the entire span of Sarah and I's relationship and it just hasn't been the right time until now. During all of that time, I have had plenty of hours to research the best things for him. The best food was a big topic, and once I stumbled upon raw feeding, there was no going back for us. I knew it was going to be the healthiest option for our dogs, give them the best life, the best lifestyle, and hopefully the longest life. Something that's really important to me is to have as many years as possible with our pup. Raw food is easier for dog stomachs to digest. They're not really meant for carbs, even though they have adapted. When he eats his raw meals, he's digesting all of those nutrients. He's not wasting anything. Right, buddy? On top of that, there are so many other small benefits. He has cleaner teeth, smaller poops, brighter eyes, more energy. His coat is so silky soft from all of the vitamins that he gets. Also, raw fed dogs are far less likely to develop any environmental or food allergies. We've had Oliver for just about two months now and he hasn't had any digestive issues so far. He hasn't had any diarrhea or any ear infections or any kind of health problems that are really typical in small puppies that we've had before in the past. We fostered service dogs before and they're very prone to getting those things, to getting some environmental allergies and some ear infections and things of that nature. Um, but we can already tell with this raw fed diet that he is strong, he has more energy than those puppies did, he is growing at a really nice um, slow paced rate, and that he's just really his best self. Once we decided that we were going to feed raw, we had to decide how we were going to do that. When feeding raw, there are really two options to start with. You can do it yourself, or you can buy a pre-made store bought option. Do-it-yourself is usually cheaper. You go to the grocery store or your local butcher or you call up your hunter friends and you get all of the different ingredients that you'll need such as muscle meat and bone and organs, um, vitamins. There are a lot of things that go into it. 
or you can go to the grocery store, the pet store, and pick up a much more expensive, but all the work is done for you, pre-made option. Since we live in a van, we don't really have enough space for the DIY. Though it would be cheaper, people usually get ingredients for up to a month and get like a big bulk freezer. It's just not something that's available to us right now. We only have this little freezer that we bought just for him so we can store just enough pre-made to go for about a month at a time on the road. Once we knew that we needed a pre-made, we had to find the best company for Oliver. It was important to me that we had a product that was completely balanced, that we didn't have to add anything to it for him to have his full meal, and to have a company that had really good reviews. We liked Answers because they are local, they have a complete balanced option for Oliver as a growing puppy. All of their products are fermented, which means they have more calories and he needs to eat less of that, which is a great space saving option. And it's also good for his gut, it has a lot of probiotics. And also we found out when we took him to the vet for the first day that our vet feeds this, this product as well. So that was pretty cool. Well, it's raining, so continue on, I guess. <laughs> what he actually eats. We feed Oliver 80% Answers and 20% Zeewee Peaks, which is an air-dried kibble type food. It's really close to raw, about as close as you can get um, without actually being raw. We use that for training treats and when we go on walks and things. So right now we're weighing him every week as he's growing so we can get a better estimate of how much food he needs. We use the Answers calculator which is an online resource you can use. You can plug in his activity level and his age and his weight, and it'll give you an idea of how many calories he needs. Right now, he's getting about 14 to 16 ounces of Answers food every day, split into three meals, as well as two ounces of his Zewi Peaks. Answers has two or three, actually, different options for how you can buy their product. We like the four pound cartons. Um, it's basically like a cardboard milk carton and we just scoop out however much he needs every day. They also have eight ounce patties and little niblets for smaller dogs or meal toppers. We did try the patties one time, but we preferred the cartons because it's just easier for us to measure. The patties probably are great if your dog is a consistent weight and gets one a day or two a day, um, but Oliver was getting like one and two thirds and that was just like, it was too much to handle. We like the cartons. In addition to his meals, he also gets goat's milk, chicken feet, duck eggs, just a couple of extra calories that also teach him how to chew bones because right now what he's getting is a grind and we want him to have that experience chewing bones and eggshells and those types of things for when he gets older, when his meals might be DIY and he might have to learn how to chew those things. How much does it cost to feed raw? This varies so much. Like we said earlier, if you do DIY, it can be a lot more affordable, especially if you're buying in bulk. Pre-made is definitely the most expensive option, but for us, it's the best choice right now. One four pound carton of Answers Detailed Food costs approximately $25. They have different proteins that vary in price, probably between $20 and $32, something like that. Um, but on average, the price is 25 bucks. At his current weight, Oliver is going through four pounds of food, so one carton every four and a half days or so. And he's also getting Zeewee Peaks. So Zeewee Peaks is very expensive. It's flown in from New Zealand. It's the best. Um, it's really great food. We highly recommend it if that is an option for you because it's such good quality. But it is about 40 to $45 for a two pound bag. And now it's really raining. All right, how much do you want to know about raw food? <laughs> we estimated that his food would cost two to $300 a month for this first year as he's growing, and that totaled out to be about $3,000 for the first year. After that, we're hoping it'll be about half as much as we hope to do DIY. If you still want this, that's amazing. I'm getting wet, you're getting a show, this is great. Next, we're gonna talk about how to get started in raw feeding. I hope this video has been really inspiring for you and that this is something that you're interested in pursuing on your own. And I have to say that if you are interested, please do more research than just watching this video. I am not an expert. I'm not a vet. Don't take my advice. Go find somebody who knows what they're talking about and figure all of this out. There are a lot of good resources out there. You can call around and find a vet in your area that supports raw feeding. 
that's what we did when we got Oliver. We called dozens of vets actually before we found one that was knowledgeable on the subject. It's really important to us that our vet knew about nutrition. It's not usually something that vets are schooled in in their training. Um, but we knew that if we were feeding this diet, we wanted him to be familiar with that in case there were any issues. If you do your research and decide to go for the DIY option, don't get overwhelmed. That is my biggest piece of advice. I think I researched raw feeding for about a year before I felt able to commit to it. And even now, if we were going to do DIY, I would have to do a lot more research and really get everything straight. Hi, buddy. There is a lot of information out there and it takes a while to get it all down. But if you look in the description, we're gonna have some resources for you below, um, a Facebook group that you can check out that has a lot of good information. Definitely recommend checking that out and just getting started. When switching over to a new dog food, it's always recommended that you take time, seven to 14 days, slowly increasing the amount of raw food that you're replacing um, from the kibble that you were feeding before, so that way his stomach won't get upset, hopefully. We didn't have that luxury. We actually ran out of the kibble that his breeder was feeding him, so we kind of did an all-in-one switch, and he was also fine. But just to be safe, we would probably recommend that you switch it over a little bit at a time as well. It might take a few meals or a few days or even a week or so before your pup's stomach has adjusted to this new food. I think that's totally normal. Again, check with your vet, make sure your vet is on board and knows what you're doing with the raw food. Um, but I think it makes sense if your dog has been kibble fed for their entire life that it might take a little bit of adjusting for them to get on this new diet. But overall, um, if you have any questions, let us know. We're really excited, really passionate about raw feeding and we hope this has inspired you to look into it at least and learn a little bit more about it. Let us know if you raw feed your dogs or if you're interested in trying it, if you have any questions. Yeah, we're really excited. Thanks for watching this video guys and for listening to me be passionate about it. Um, definitely ask us questions because I love talking about it and Oliver loves eating it. So that's the end. That's all I have. <laughs> Bye everyone.